hi today i'm going to be sharing a recipe of mustard greens before we start please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you get a notification whenever i add a new video i have about one kg mustard greens washed and chopped i left one to show you how it looks like i have four cup water in the clay pot i let it to boil now we will add half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon canned pepper. You can add any other chilies. If you wish, you can add green chilies as well. Now we will put the mustard greens in the pot. We will put this as well. We will chop it and put it in the pot as well. Push it down with the spoon and let it boil when it starts boiling turn the heat to low and cover the pot and we will cook it for about two to three hours in between we will check that and if we need it we will add the boiling water in the pot so it's boiling now turn the heat to low and now cover it so you can see there is a hole in my lid so the steam will come out so now we will cook it about two to three hours. Our mustard greens are cooking for a long time. And now you can see it's really soft. You can mash it with a spoon. If you wish, you can blend it with a blender, but it's really soft because it's cooking for a long time. You don't need it to blend it with a blender. But if you wish you can do it and you can blend half of it and or you can leave the half without blending it it's still cooking and now i'll put it the pot at the back stove and i'll turn the heat on very low and over here i'll prepare the gravy for the gravy i have one medium size onion sliced two fresh tomatoes puree one teaspoon freshly crushed ginger one teaspoon freshly crushed garlic, two green chilies, chopped, half teaspoon turmeric powder. Some people they don't use in their mustard greens turmeric but I do use it because it's very healthy. In this bowl I have four tablespoon freshly chopped soya leaves, four tablespoon fresh coriander leaves, half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon canned pepper or any other red chili powder, one cup yogurt. Now in a pan add about 3 to 4 tablespoon olive oil. You can use any other vegetable oil or ghee or butter. I'm using olive oil. Now add onions and we will fry it until it's nice and golden. Now our onions are golden fried. Now we will add green chilies. Stir it for a few seconds. Now we will add ginger and garlic. Stir it again. Now we will add the other spices, turmeric powder, chili powder. Add a little bit of water. Now add salt. You can add salt and chili powder according to your taste. I'm using just a half teaspoon because I did put before when I was boiling the mustard greens. Now we will add tomatoes. And now we will cook it a bit until it dries its water. Water is dry now. Now we will add yogurt and we will cook it a bit more. Now add a little bit of water in the mug so we will put all the yogurt in the pan.
now we will cook it about five to six minutes and then we will add it with the mustard greens and then we will cook that again now it's reduced a bit so now we will cook it together with the mustard greens we will put the pot at the front our greens are really nice and soft you can blend it with the spoon like this if you wish you can blend it with the blender now we will add the spices the gravy with the mustard greens add a little bit water in the pan to put all these spices now we will add the greens fresh coriander and dill leaves and we will cook it again about uh, 10 to 15 minutes until it dries out its all water you can leave the consistency you, as you like if you like a watery then you can add a bit more water after that or you can keep it dry like this now for the turka i have about three to four tablespoon butter we will add a little bit of olive oil so it won't burn let it melt and then we will add i have three cloves of garlic chopped we will put in the pan three cloves of garlic chopped put it in the pan and fry them until they are nice and golden I have two red chilies deseeded fresh red chilies deseeded I will add this as well and we will fry them until they are nice and golden now our turka is ready now I will put the mustard green in my serving dish and pour the turka on top of it now our mustard greens are ready now give it a try you can eat it with the makkaiki roti you know the corn meat, uh, cornbread you can see the cornbread how to make cornbread in my channel so give it a try if you like this recipe don't forget you leave your comments in the comments box if you like this recipe please like subscribe and share with your friends thanks for watching see you soon in next video bye